So this lesson is permutations, which means um, the different ways that you can arrange a certain set of items um, when the order does not matter. The question that was sent in that's sort of applicable here was sent in by Maya. And she said, how many different permutations can you make with the letters in the word 17? She said, she's not even sure how to set the problem up and would like a little help. I understand, Maya, actually, that's, um, the problem is actually a little more complex than you might think. There's sort of a simple answer and a more complex answer, so let's take them both here. I was sort of broke up the screen so I can deal with them individually. And the simple answer is that there are nine letters in 17 in that, in that particular word. So if we have nine letters, then we have sort of nine spaces we can fill. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the first space in the letter that, you know, if we're going to just find different ways to set this up, for the first space in the, the new word we're going to build, we have any of those choices. So we really have nine choices in that first position. But once we've picked a letter for that position, then there's only eight remaining choices for the second position, and then seven remaining choices for the third, and six, and then five, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then there'll only be one letter left to go in the last one. So for each of the different positions in the new word, there's only so many different possibilities. And every time we choose one, there's fewer possibilities for the next one. So the simple way to calculate the total number is to calculate 9 factorial. And 9 factorial means 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 and so forth all the way down to 1. So if you do that, if you just, if you just multiply that out on a calculator, 9 times 8 is 72, times 7, times 6, and so on, you come out with a big number, 362,880. So 362,880 is, is sort of the, the easy answer. It's the, it's the actual number of different ways you could arrange these letters. Now, the more complex answer um, takes into account the fact that there are multiple numbers of each letter in there. Uh, not every letter, but some of the letters in there. For instance, E, there are four E's. And I can spell, let me show you what I did here with different letters here. I can spell the word 17, for instance, in a number of different ways. It's the same word here on top and right down here directly below it, just like V's netting, <laughs> which I obviously just made up, is the same on top and the same on the bottom. But both of these examples show that there are different ways to write the same word. So really, since 17 on top and 17 on bottom are not different words, it, it may be that you don't want to count those as different permutations. Even though the letters may be different letters, since the word is the same, it's not a different word. If you take that into account, what you need to do is figure out how many different ways each word could be written. And we can do that just by looking at the example here. For instance, with 17, I have four positions to put E's in. So every time I choose an E, I'm changing the way I'm writing 17. Well, the first E for the first position, I have four possible choices, kind of just like I did with the simple example above for the whole nine. For the second position, then I have three choices left to choose from. For the third, I have two choices, and then I only have one left on the last one. So for E's alone, I have four factorial. So for E possibilities, Yes, I have four factorial choices, and four times three times two times one is 24. So I have a total of 24 possible choices for the E's, and then I also have two possible choices for the N's. So I really, when I first put in an N, there's two possible N's I could put there, and then the other one goes in the other location. So for N possibilities, I have two factorial which of course is just 2 times 1, or 2. So the different possibilities I have are the different ways, different ways for each word would be 2 times 24, or 48. So that tells us that for every word we're writing, there's 48 different ways to write it. So what we need to do if we want to find the actual number of different words we can come up with is take our total number of possibilities and divide it by the number of ways to write each word. And if we do that, if we take 36280 
and divide it by 48, then we get 7,560. So that 7,560 is the number of individual words you can spell, and 363,000 is the total number of combinations of letters.